Hey guys, Anthony here. I just wanted to tell you guys about a new tool that I started using for my product keyword research. It's called Zonwords, right? It's the first step uh, for me whenever I'm doing any product keyword research now because of how easy it is to use and like how like how much of like a hack I feel like it is. So essentially what Zonwords does is it tells you your exact keywords that your competitor is using in their backend search terms. So you know like when you create a listing and you go in the back and you put in like you edit the search terms field. So this tool can basically pull out those exact keywords uh, for you and that gives you a great start in figuring out what keywords are used, right? And what keywords are winning. So basically when you're doing keyword research um, and you're looking at your competitors, your competitors are already ranked on the first page, right? They're already like killing it. They're already doing what is right. So why would you really want to reinvent the wheel when you can just go ahead and capture what keywords they have, review it on your own and see if there's a way you can tweak it to make it better. You know, like there's no need to reinvent the wheel when your competitors have already did it. Why not use their data against them and prove it too, right? So, Basically, this is what Zonwords, the website, looks like. Um, you go to zonwords.com, backend keyword extractor, and then you know you fill out some information. Um, I do have a promo code for it. It's called Boz, B-A-L-L-Z. Uh, they thought it'd be funny because of how <laughs> my Boz here to watch YouTube video product uh, launches. Uh, if you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. It's like my method for when I launch any private label product, it's worked uh, 12 out of 13 times. So I highly, highly recommend you check it out. Uh, let me know what you think when you see that. But jumping back to Zonwords, uh, you fill out your email and you copy over ASINs, you tell what marketplace it is, you put in a uh, promo code BOZ and then you get 10% off, right? Uh, pricing is right below, but the way I use it and my three main tips for using it is that you want to use it under top three of five competitors. So what I mean by that is say for your keyword unicorn pool flips, which is what you think is the um, keyword is you want to go through and go through the first three of five ones, right? And open them up, right? And then you and copy over their ASIN. However, before you copy over the ASIN, what I highly recommend that you guys do is, uh, where'd it go? What I highly, highly recommend you guys do is you check to make sure they've been around for more than 60 days. Because you don't want to use uh, basically the Zonwords research tool on a listing that's only been around like five days. Basically, they could be going through a launch uh, right then and their spike, their ranking is like not um, authentic, basically. Uh, so they might not be sticking a landing. So you want to use it on your competitors that have been there a while. Um, so essentially, what, how the way you can do that is you go through and open up each one, and then you scroll down into and keep out loads, right? Uh, so let's get my keep out load for each one, right? Um, all right, yeah. So for this one, it's not loading, but basically, you want to look at the top of three or five listings on the product page. Go down and make sure that this count right here has been at least longer than like the average other competitors. Right, so this one's 38, this one's 130, this one is, let's see, 424, right? So you wanna use the ones that have been around longer than at least 30 days, especially the ones that have been around longer, like this one that's been around for 130 days, and this one for 124 days. Um, and basically, you're gonna copy over their ASINs. Um, the way you can find their ASINs is uh, basically right up here, just copy, it will always be like these numbers right here. Um, if not, then you can just scroll down to this section and the ASIN's also here. Uh, but basically that's the easy way of doing it. Um, then you just go back to the website, copy over the ASIN's, you know. So I would copy over these ASIN's. And lastly, okay. So the way they charge you is per ASIN, right? So what I highly recommend you do is you group up a whole bunch of ASINs together. Um, say you're looking at unicorn floats, pretzel floats, pizza floats, uh, you get three to five of each 
um, of the top three competitors, three or five of the top three or five competitors, and then uh, plug them off in here to you at least get 11, right? Because at 11, you know, it's, you know, bang for your buck. You want to maximize the amount of research you do and save a little bit of money. So it's $10 per ASIN. So I highly recommend you just do at least 11 ASIN searches at a time. So basically, that's maybe about three different products. Um, if not, then I highly recommend just using it in general. Um, basically, I want the results to pop up. It'll look like any of these search terms that the competitor has in their back end. Um, it's a great way to start your product um, keyword research, and it's the new method that I've been using as the first step in all my product keyword research. If you guys have any questions on how I use it, feel free to comment below. Um, and I'll get back to you. If not, then feel free to contact their support. Uh, my good friends Leo is and Andre are behind it, and they're super, super smart, and I, you know, I'm really glad that they made this tool and decided to open it up to the public. So check it out. Let me know what you think, and I hope it really works out for you guys. See you guys.